And now let's do, do, do the preview for next week's events. Next week, well, it begins easy after the Thanksgiving holiday. No big releases. But <clears throat> on Tuesday, we already get lots of key figures. We get uh, fresh inflation figures from Spain and Germany. Those are fresh for November, the preliminary ones. We have the second release of uh, the US GDP for Q3. And that'll be interesting. The revisions are quite significant in the United States. Um, we also have consumer confidence in the United States, the CB consumer confidence, which moves markets. Things even get even busier on Wednesday. We have officially uh, the OPEC meetings, okay, uh, which are, um, which of course involve, uh, uh, we'll get details, we'll get reports, we'll get leaks towards the event, but this is when uh, decisions are supposed to be taken. Any declarations, communiques coming out of there. Inflation figures, again, fresh from the Eurozone for November following the German and Spanish ones. The ADP and from payrolls, the big hint towards the NFP on Wednesday. Canadian GDP for those trading the Canadian dollar. Remember, Canadian figures have been weaker uh, and, um, and Canadian dollar is pumped up thanks to oil prices. We also have the Fed's inflation figure, the core PCE price index in the US and oil inventories. On Thursday, we have another hint for the non-farm payrolls from the US ISM manufacturing PMI. Also of note, the Chinese PMIs, important for the Australian dollar and also for other currencies. And on Friday, of course, the US non-farm payrolls, the last one before the expected rate hike. Only a terrible report can derail the Fed at this point. It'll be interesting to see. I guess we'll have, uh, it'll be interesting to see wages because last time in the report for October, uh, wages jumped by 2.8%, which is really, really great. Okay, and we also have the Canadian jobs report. So quite a busy week. It's the turn of the month. It's the week beginning on November 28th, ending December 2nd, and um, sort of providing also a big warm up. I mean, these events stand on their own, but uh, they also, for Euro dollar, it's big because it's uh, before the ECB and the Fed meetings. Okay, so um, that's it for the preview.